Uh-oh. Crap. Hi. Not only did I die, I went back to the exact same place I just got out of. Fantastic. Okay. Well, now I know for sure that I'm going to have to go the long way around. The game won't let me have it that easy. but oh it's up there I can't go the other direction maybe it's forcing me to go through this bend in which case I'll go the other way this time Yeah, I guess I am making progress, but it's, uh, the terror is not going away. Nope. Okay, looks like I can't go this way. So, the vent's definitely not ne a necessary place to go to. In fact, it's completely worthless. see you. You better not see me, dude, because you're going to mess me up real bad with this alien. Thanks for going away. Yeah, unidentified species. You're lucky that he doesn't actually do anything to you. Okay, he's going into the vents. He could be right under on top of me at this point, but just I'm just gonna run for it. I've already spent enough time here. I'm gonna go in this room, that's a shortcut. It's actually open. Oh. Oh, my computer went dark again. Hooey. So honest to honest to God, is this really still interesting to watch? I mean, I'll probably be cutting out some of the, you know, some of the more drag on slash failure bits, maybe, maybe, 
um, when I export it, but either way, uh, just like as a full-on stream, is this even still interesting? Sorry, dude. I'm, I, I'm, I'm definitely trying, but I'm not used to horror games. It's, I'm not gonna say it's difficult to divide your attention, but it's definitely something that you have to get used to when you're doing like you know commentary. But this is way different than simply dividing your attention. This is something that requires your utmost concentration. need to go yeah okay bed 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 Get under the bed here he comes oh this is freaking terrifying if somebody made a haunted house like around this kind of thing it'd be so awesome don't you think I mean, the way that they utilize the ambient lights and, and, and flashing and the smoke and everything is just top-notch. Or, yeah, he's persistent. He's a xenomorph. His entire existence is around hunting. Hunting and the propagation of his species. I can't tell if he's behind me now. I thought he was in front, but I can't tell anymore. He's still in the area. I don't want to move. But, oh, there he is. Okay. Let's move underneath the new bed then. Okay. So, two doors down is where I need to turn right. I have to say, though, dude, um, I don't know if, if you can really see it. Okay, he went up in the vents. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it while just watching this, but while playing it, they really nailed the presence of the alien. Like, he he feels like he towers over me. Like, you know, he's, he's a seven, eight foot tall creature, so of course he's supposed to... Oh! Back under the bed. Back under the bed. I was not expecting that. I should have gone under the bed that was closest to the to the hallway. But oh well. Is he gonna come out of that? 
that doorway. Is that where he is? Yeah, he really is imposing. That's that's what I, what I'm saying. Like, I'm not. I'm. I. It might just be because I'm pushing all of my fear into avoiding him, or maybe it's just the way it turned out uh, for everybody. But I'm much more afraid when I'm trying to avoid him. But when when I when I see the death coming, when he's like either lumbering towards me, or even if I know that he saw me and he's just going to start rushing towards me. Like, I don't feel the fear anymore. The fear drains away from me. But he, the presence, the just the presence in trying to avoid his detection. Like that. Like that. Just when I thought I made progress. I was much more boom, boom, boom when I was doing the first mission with him in it. When I was in the in the medical center. Well, I think this is the medical center too. But there he is. Now you saw. Yeah, I, I showed you Kadikris's video. I told you to go look it up, and you watched most of it. Um, when he says that you can't hide in one or uh, like a single place for more than a minute or two otherwise he'll find and kill you. I don't know if that means like keep moving from place to place and they'll be fine even if you end up using the same hiding place again or if uh, it simply means that you um, can't, can't use the same hiding place over and over again. Okay, now this is starting to become a pattern. gonna say it's starting to become a pattern I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped back down right there oh yeah he did okay he just moved away before I was able to do anything okay just come out of the hallway I'm under this bed come out of the hallway and yeah he's definitely not not too picky um, but that's what I w wasn't sure how to interpret it. Like, I wasn't sure if it's, like, as long as you keep shifting between hiding places, even if it's, the f uh, a f like, you know, two or three different ones, and you just uh, keep doing it every so often. I wasn't sure if that was enough, or if it had to be completely different places every single time. Okay, I made it. Oh! Never mind. Now what? Oh. Okay. Well, since it turned out to be a scripted little scene there, I assumed I wasn't going to just die. But... Oh, okay. So there's a lot of fire going on, and it was enough to scare the Xeno away. Okay. That's good. Unless he... I hope he doesn't come back. Escape. Okay. Just need to run this way. Run that way. That's okay, though. Games are allowed to have some things scripted. Yeah. Escape, it says, and I just nonchalantly like, Oh, what's over here? What's over here? Let's find all the secrets. All of them. Good My name is Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But Wait a second. Doctor, I've heard it didn't do any, any anything. In the didn't do jack diddly squat. Seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm oh, wait. I think there's gas slowly draining my health. Have any corporate affiliation? Let me be a friend to you. Oh, I need to go to this door. Oh, hold on, my computers. I don't I don't mean to keep pausing so often, but I I I'm trying to figure out Okay, well the door's locked, so what do I do? Uh, 
Okay, I see another doorway over here. Is this one open? No, it's not. Yeah, my health is slowly draining, I think. But I don't know where to go. There's no, like, vent or anything to... Oi. What do I do? Where do I go? I don't want to die and have to restart over just because of this. I can't leave this 